lose some of the sauce and it's kind of starting to cook into the pan. We're going to add a little bit more. So this is part of the enchilada process that honestly makes it take a lot of time. You know, we got to keep refilling this, we got to keep refilling the oil, got to make sure the, enchilada, the tortillas don't burn. Nice and soft, nice and soft. We got to go, 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 go. <laughs> Turn off the tamal because once they start going, we get them done. You're gonna want to sit down and eat, and then you're gonna forget that you left the tamal on. Trust me, I've done it. <laughs> I learned from my mistakes, guys. Learn from my learn, learn from my mistakes. Okay, so I gotta take this one out a little bit. Sometimes it folds under. Just gotta be gentle. Can you pull it out? And then last one. Another option for the chicken, if you don't like uh, chicken being too thin or tender, or who doesn't like tender chicken, I'm gonna turn off this one is you can grill the chicken into the leftover oil to one heat it up and then two just to add some crispiness to it so i'm gonna do that for these actually this is too much oil i'm gonna do it on the side that i see has less oil and now i gotta turn it back So now that I'm done with the salsa, I'm going to use the rest of the salsa into the enchilada. So I'm scrape it off, scrape, scrape, scrape. As you guys can see, chicken is now being There you go. 